Well, um, got to tell you, week 13 of the NFL season was an interesting week, to say the least. Let's just talk about the Cowboys first, because I know everybody's going to talk about it. I'm going to talk about it. it. It's disappointing to see this team, you know, play like this, and you know, um, also Ron Rivera got fired. So there's that before Jason Garrett. So there's that, and Jerry Jones, the company, is going to keep him around to the end of the season, I guess. But it looks like he's getting the axe at the end of the season, irregardless. Hopefully. I don't know. I don't know what in the world Jerry Jones is thinking. Is this wrong? Here with there we go. But I don't know what Jerry Jones is thinking. The mind of Jerry Jones is something else. But the Bears beat the Lions. That's that's interesting. Um, I think the Lions are getting close to eliminated from playoff contention, if not already. Bills looked great against the Cowboys. Saints, you know, even though the Falcons have recovered a lot of onside kicks, they get the victory over the Falcons on Thanksgiving. Then Sunday, the Titans meet the Colts. Man, interesting game right there. You know, the Bengals get their first win of the season. You know, they beat the Jets 22-6. to Crazy, isn't it? Um, Ravens, they continue to win. It was a tough game with Jimmy Garoppolo on the 49ers. Man, that was a good game. Good game. Didn't watch the game. What's wrong with you? Uh, the Steelers get revenge on the Browns. They beat them 20 to 13. The comical Eagles, and I do mean comical. Like, how do you give up 37 points to the Miami Dolphins? How do you let a punter? How do you let a kicker throw to a punter on a weird formation and they get the touchdown? How do you how do you let this happen? So the Cowboys are still in the lead for the NFC. It's looking like a dog fight that'll go down maybe to week 16. So that'll be at least one. Packers take care of the Giants. I already talked about the Panthers a little bit. Darius Geis went off on the Panthers, and I guess that was the straw that broke the candles back. Doesn't make any sense why Ron Rivera is fired, but it is what it is. Um, the Bucks, the Jags, guess it's going to be the Gardner Minshew show going forward. Um, Rams easily beat the Cardinals. The Cardinals are definitely eliminated from playoff contention. Um, in, in a battle for the AFC West, there's a couple, there were a couple of battles, but the Broncos beat the Chargers. The Chargers got to feel sorry for themselves, man. Another folly and in the kicking game and then just just in general you know it was another folly for the charges and you know they got to pick themselves up you got to get back into it um and the chiefs just absolutely destroyed the raiders i ended up leaving um like once this game was it was like 21 to nothing once this game was at 21 nothing i was like okay the, the raiders aren't gonna come back patrick mahomes c comes in and just clean towels um seahawks they beat the vikings they had a lead for they had a large lead for a while but the vikings came back but they ended up fump but the vikings ended up fumbling on a kickoff and thus the seahawks are in control of the a of the nfc west right now it's crazy and lastly the houston texans get the Get a nice, nice victory to reaffirm control of the AFC South. And they beat the New England Patriots 28 to 22. It really wasn't even close. The score is much, much closer than the game indicated. Um, DeAndre Hopkins went off on Stephon Gilmore. And I mean, Deshaun Watson went crazy. Brady was throwing bad passes all night. Belichick was pissed. Oh my goodness. I think, you know, it. That that it was a good result right there. It really opens up the race for the AFC because now the Ravens are the number one seed in the AFC right now. It's going to be crazy. Um, the NFC still has a lot of contenders, I think, um, going down the wire. You know, the Vikings, even though Kirk Cousin, you know, he did he did what he needed to do against the Seahawks. He still ended up with another loss, but there's a lot of glut in the NFC. Um, 
and there's rising contenders that could that could beat the Patriots, as we've seen in the AFC. I don't know what's going to happen, but it could be fun, and I'm here for it. We're all here for it. Could this mean something in the very end? Could we see a 49ers Ravens rematch somewhere down the line in the Super Bowl? Who knows? I don't know yet. But that's all for this video, and hopefully this video will be uploaded soon. Y'all take care tonight, and I'll see y'all later.